The career of Han So Hee has been marked by scandals and controversies, and it seems like the problematic behavior extends to her family too, as her mother has found herself in trouble with the law once again. So Hee's family has always been troubled, and this has deeply affected her since her childhood. In fact, she wasn't even raised by her parents, and Han isn't her real surname. She was born Lee So Hee in Ulsan, South Korea in 1994, and only lived the first few years of her life with her parents because they divorced when she was only five five years old. The reason for the split has never been explained, but it must have been some very serious issue because after their divorce, Sohee's parents completely abandoned their child. As a result, her maternal grandmother took care of her and raised her entirely on her own. They lived in a city called Wonju, and throughout her childhood, Sohee had almost no contact with her parents. Her father completely disappeared after the divorce, and she hasn't mentioned him even once, so it's very likely that she never met him again. Instead, her mother only appeared once once in a while when she needed money. Because of this, Sohee had a very troubled childhood marked by financial struggles. When Sohee entered high school, she and her grandmother moved to Ulsan, her birthplace and the city where her mother lived. Allegedly, the two tried to move in with Sohee's mother to save money, but she refused, so they kept living separately. We don't have any news about her relationship with other relatives, or even if she has any. During her senior year of high school, Sohee moved from Ulsan to Seoul with her grandmother. Back then, then, so he had only around $240 left, so she started to work various part-time jobs to make ends meet. She worked at a pub every day until sunrise for around a year and began taking other gigs too. So he originally planned to continue her education after high school, but because of her financial struggles, she had to give up her plans to study in college and instead tried modeling. She soon started to make more money with a few hours of modeling than with entire days of working at the pub. Things started looking up for her when she was noticed by an entertainment agency that convinced her to try acting. At first, she just wanted to make some money by appearing in a few commercials and then using her earnings to fulfill her dream of studying abroad in France, but turns out that acting was actually her calling. So he revealed that she never dreamed of being an actress, but it was her grandmother who pushed her to pursue this career. She confessed, my grandmother loves watching television. Her wish was to be able to see me on TV. Growing up next to her, she often told me about that wish. Gradually, I asked myself what it would be like if I were an actor. So with her grandmother and her agency both asking her to keep acting, she was convinced to give it a try and finally decided to focus only on her career in entertainment. After starting as an actress, so he changed her stage surname from Lee to Han. She never explained why she did this, but it's very likely that she made this decision to cut ties with her family even more. After her problematic childhood, it looked like so he could finally leave her financial struggles behind and start a new life as an actor. Actress, but that's when her mother came back and began causing more problems. In fact, the problem started before Sohee even made her acting debut. When she turned 20, Sohee was visited by various debt collectors who asked her for money, and that's how she found out that her mother had taken out multiple loans in her name when she was still a minor. Sohee once again found herself in debt and had to use all the money she had earned early in her career just to pay back all her mother's loans. To no one's surprise, when Sohee began making a name for for herself in modeling and acting, her mother reappeared after years of silence to ask for more money. Apparently, Sohee's mother kept borrowing money using her daughter's name as collateral, and she resorted to just paying all her mother's debts in order to help her. At one point, Sohee's mother even took out a loan just because she needed money temporarily until her daughter was paid by her agency. This behavior went on for years, and as reported, there were numerous victims who suffered from the actions of Sohee's mother. These illegal activities were brought to the public's attention in 2020 when a netizen wrote a post on a Korean online forum revealing that they were scammed by the mother of a celebrity who became popular with the drama The World of the Married. The netizen didn't have to reveal more, as it was immediately obvious that they were talking about Sohee. The netizen explained that they joined a savings scheme run by Sohee's mother, paying around $2,000 per month between October 2015 and August 2016. However, when it was time to retrieve the money, Sohee's mother disappeared. When the Edison was finally able to reach her, she said that she had already spent every penny and promised to pay back the savings month by month. However, she soon disappeared once again. According to the netizen who wrote the post that exposed her, Sohee's mother later reappeared and said that she would pay back her debts all at once when her daughter became famous. Instead, the netizen was only paid between $80 and $250 once every few months, and they were still waiting to get back another $8,000. After the success of The World of the 
married, the netizen went to Sohi's agency but was told that she had no contact with her mother. The netizen thought that this was just an excuse, so they wrote the post exposing Sohi's mother. After the scandal emerged, Sohi released a statement explaining the situation and apologized to all the victims of her mother's activities. Sohi then revealed for the first time to the public the truth about her childhood and how she struggled for years to pay back her mother's debts. Despite the fact that her problematic behavior was now public, the illegal activities of Sohi's mother never stopped, and she kept scamming people using the same schemes. In March 2022, a YouTuber revealed that Sohi's mother was sued for fraud worth tens of thousands of dollars. Sohi's mother apparently used an account under her daughter's name, and so she was sued as well and found herself involved in her mother's crimes once again. Sohi's agency then had to release a statement explaining that she had nothing to do with her mother's illegal activities. They further argued that the account used to borrow money was opened by Sohi's mother when her daughter was still a minor and that similar cases had already happened in the past. According to the agency's statement, a court had already ruled that Sohi had no involvement in any of her mother's activities. Finally, they added that Sohi wouldn't take any responsibility for her mother's debts and illegal behavior. Soon afterward, a court ruled in favor of Sohi, freeing her from all the charges involving her mother's debts. With this ruling, Sohi was finally free to continue her career without having to worry about her mother's activities impacting her career, at least for a while. In 2024, Sohi had to deal with her own scandals and controversies. Earlier this year, she was involved in a huge dating scandal with Ru Jun Yol, which was at the center of everyone's attention for months. In the midst of all the confusing statements about the scandal and the controversy, breakup that followed, everything that Sohi said and did caused even more problems. From yelling at an audience member at the Paris Fashion Week to the accusations of faking a note from a fan, things just got worse for Sohi. Throughout the year, all the scandals she was involved in caused her to lose a ton of endorsement deals, and her career basically collapsed. Just when it seemed like all these controversies were finally calming down, the illegal activities of Sohi's mother returned under the spotlight. According to a Korean TV channel, Sohi's mother was arrested under under the accusation of operating 12 illegal gambling dens in different cities in South Korea. This illegal business apparently began in 2021, and Sohi's mother even hired other people to help her cover up her activities. Gambling is illegal in South Korea and can be punished severely, and considering that this isn't her first crime, Sohi's mother could face a harsh sentence. Once again, Sohi's agency had to release a statement explaining that she has nothing to do with her mother's actions. The agency even added, Sohi herself learned of this through the news and is at a loss for words to describe her devastated feelings. Even though Sohi isn't involved in the case, her agency still apologized for causing discomfort to the public. A few days later, YouTuber Lee Jin Ho investigated the matter and revealed some new information on the relationship between Sohi and her mother, basically confirming everything that she said about her childhood and her family. He found that Sohi tried to cut her mother out of her life multiple times and that they didn't speak for long periods of time, but she always came back. According to the YouTuber, Sohi's mother also caused a lot of problems for her daughter's agency and their employees, as she would often reach out to the company to demand money. The company is now apparently trying to settle the issue once and for all. Netizens have reacted to the news of the arrest of Sohi's mother by criticizing the media and accusing journalists of dragging Sohi in the case, even though she has nothing to do with it. Many defended Sohi and felt sorry for her, arguing that she tried everything to cut ties with her mom. Others pointed out that she wasn't even raised by her mother, and so it's unfair to link them, especially since Sohi isn't involved in illegal activities. Many now hope that Sohi can finally leave all the issues with her mother behind and continue with her career without any troubles.